Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you how to use the filter function in Excel to get a combination of rows and columns. So for example, what I'm talking about here is I've got this big table of information with a couple of headings, it goes down a few hundred lines. And what I want to do is I want to filter this table just to bring back all the information where there's a last name of King, but I also only want a certain number of columns. I don't want all the columns to be brought back. I just want the membership and city. And you can see I'll change this formula so I'll change the name from King to say Evans. And now it's going to go through this table again, filter me everything where the last name is Evans and just bring me back the membership and city. I'll press enter and there you go. So this is a really handy formula, but it's built from a couple of other formula. And this is where I'm going to go back and start to show you how to filter for rows. Then I'll show you how to filter for the columns and then how to combine this into two. So let's go back to filtering for the rows. So again, I've got this table here, same table of information, and I just want to filter for the last name of Wilson and bring back all their information. I'll change that formula, change it to say Evans again, and it's brought me back that five, list of five people with last name of Evans and all that information. So let's show you how this formula works. Just delete what we have there and start a new formula. It's as simple as equals filter. Now where are we going to filter? We're going to filter this particular table. If it's not in a table format, we're just going to highlight this table. Going down the whole way to row 254. And press comma. And what do we want to filter? We want to filter the last name. So let's filter that last name row or column from C1 to C254. And we want it to equal. Now here you can actually type the name of Evans or whatever you want, or you can actually reference a cell. So I'm going to reference the cell of H2. Close the bracket. And there you go. It's as simple as that. We're filtering that table with the last name is Evans. Again, we'll test it out. We'll change that Evans to say Young. And now it's filtered that table again for everyone whose last name is Young. Okay. So the second example I want to show you is instead of filtering for rows, I want to filter for specific columns that I want to bring back. So I'll go to this extra tab, filter columns, and you can see here that I've filtered this exact same table, but in this instance, I've just filtered so I can get everything back from the last name column and everything from the city. Now it's referencing these two cells up here, this formula. So instead of last name, let's change this to membership. And it's bringing me back, it's going to bring me back both the membership and the city columns. So let's build this formula and I'll show you how it's done. Delete what we have here and start the filter. And I'm going to do it with the headings because we're actually filtering for the headings. So equals filter. I'm going to select the table again from A1 to E254, comma. And we want to bring back everything from the row, so I'm going to highlight the row, A1 to E1, where it equals membership. Now I can type in membership in double quotations or select the reference cell, and you can see it's bring me back, brought me back the entire column of membership. But this instance, I wanted to see membership and city. So how do I do that in this formula? Now with Excel, they've got the opportunity here, so I'm going to go back and filter that table and I'm going to put it into some brackets because we're going to have to combine a couple of formula here. So the first filter we want to do is filter A1 to E1 where it equals H3 membership. And now I want to do a plus symbol. Now this is uh, how Excel combines a filter formula with an or. So it's going to be bring me back everything with a membership or a city. So we'll open the brackets. We're going to filter that same row, A1 to E1, where it equals city. So how this formula works now is it's filtering that whole table where it either equals membership or city with that plus sign in between the brackets. Close the brackets and now you can see it's brought me back membership or city. And because I reference these cells, I'll change this again and let's say membership and age and now it's updated that and filtered me back every column that I've selected, which is membership and age. Okay, so let's get to the final formula, which is where we want to filter this table and bring back certain rows and columns. So I'll get to the next tab, 
And in the example here, you can see we've got the same table, but we've filtered the table to the last name of Evans, but we only want to bring back the membership and city. Now, if I change this last name from Evans to say King, press enter, you can see that again, it's changed that table, searched for everyone whose last name is King, and just brought me back the city and membership. Now, in another instance, I want to bring back the membership, but instead of city, I want to bring back age. I can type age where the reference cell is. Just make sure I change the heading as well. And it's gone through this table and brought me back the membership and age for everyone whose last name is King. So let's show you how to build this formula. Delete what we have there. And now we'll get onto the formula. Just be careful because we can't just combine the two formula we've just learned. We have to do a slightly different formula. So equals filter. Now the first stage, we're going to filter for the last name of King. So we're going to get that whole table, filter A1 to E254, comma, and we're going to filter the row of C1 to C254, where it equals H2, or King in this instance. Close the brackets, and we can change this to Evans, and it's filtered, but it's filtered me back every column and I just want membership and age. Now, if we look at the table, membership is column one and age is column five. So I'm gonna show you how to filter this resulting table just to bring back columns rows, or columns one and five, and then I'll show you how to do this dynamically. So the first instance, we'll go back to the formula and we'll add in or nest that filter formula into a choose columns function choose columns, open bracket. Now we're going to, where the array section is, we've already filtered to this table, this resulting table, and we just want to bring back, so we'll go to the end, columns one and columns five. Close the brackets, and you can see it's brought back membership and age. But we want this to be dynamic, because if I change this age, say to city, back to city, nothing's changed with this formula. It still brought me back membership and age, but I want it to dynamically change based on my selection. So how do I do this? I'm gonna go and I'll just quickly show you how to bring back the column automatically. So I'm gonna use the match formula. I'll just do this slight underneath the heading, equals match, and I'm gonna match this cell here, H3, and I'm gonna find it within A1 to E1. So it's gonna tell me which position it's in, comma, and how am I going to match it? It's going to be an exact match, so I want to type in zero after the comma. And you can see it's brought me back to number one, telling me that it's in column number one. If I drag this formula and I do the same thing here, equals match, match city, comma, from A1 to E1, comma, and I want to match it exact, so I'll do type a zero, close the brackets, it's telling me it's column four. So if I go back to this membership in this formula, instead of bringing back columns one and five, because it's not dynamic, I'm going to nest these other formula inside here. So I'm gonna choose the columns from this resulting filter that we did, and I just wanna bring the columns back where it equals membership and city. So I'm gonna nest in match H3, comma, within A1 to E1, comma, zero, close the brackets. So that's the first column I wanna bring back. The second column, instead of five, I'll delete that, and I wanna bring back match I3, comma, somewhere between A1 and E1, comma, and bring back a zero, so it has to be an exact match, and close the brackets, and now you can see it's brought me back the membership and the city. I haven't changed the heading, I quickly changed the heading, and there you go. So if I delete those headings, and I change it from membership and city to last name and city, it's brought me back Evans and the city, but I wanna change Evans to young, and there you go. You can, you can keep doing this, but it's filtered that table to both rows and columns. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please subscribe. See you next time.